Welcome to the Statistic NED YouTube channel. Today I want to show you how to import and export data from SAS, SPSS and Starter in R. We'll be using the Haven package from the Tidyverse and we'll also take a quick look at files from the SysStat and Wicca software packages and we can import these using the foreign package which is part of base R. So firstly a quick look at the Haven package and the Tidyverse. So Haven is part of the Tidyverse, which means when you run install packages Tidyverse, Haven gets installed along. Um, but Haven is not part of the so-called core Tidyverse, which means that when you run library Tidyverse, Haven does not get loaded. So you need to load it with a separate call to library, library Haven. Right. So let's dive right in and start with SAS software. We can simply import SAS data using the read underscore SAS function. So here we see an example. If you don't have access to the SAS software like me and you don't have files in that format, maybe we can conveniently use an example file that is included in the Haven package. You see the code here. And you see this is typical for the Haven package. We using the str function to display the structure of the imported data. We get the variable names as usual and you see that now we have additional attributes which show us the encoding in the original software, SAS in this case. So we do see how the variables were encoded in SAS even though R cannot make direct use of this information because R processes data a little bit differently but we as users get to see these formats. So if these formats get in our way and we um, don't really want to keep them in R, we can use the zap formats function also from the Haven package and then the str function just displays the variable names as usual. So this is pretty straightforward. A few notes about parameters. Most of these are also available for the other software packages that we'll talk about in a moment, so I won't go into these several times. Um, specific for SAS is the catalog file parameter, so we can provide a path to a separate catalog file. There are also parameters to specify encodings, to select columns already when reading in the data, which is very convenient and saves time. We can skip lines of data, we can specify a maximum, and we can specify how to deal with problematic column names. So there are predefined um, parameters like check unique, but we can also specify a custom function which is very convenient. So here the janitor package comes to mind with its powerful clean names function that you may want to try out on um, problematic variable names. Right, how can we export SAS data from R? We can use the write underscore SAS function, but here the downside is the documentation says write SAS is currently experimental and only works for limited data sets, so you may have to try out if that works for your use case. Here I just stored a small data set US arrests. It worked well, but when I read the data back in I didn't get these SAS specific formats, but at least the data was written correctly and could be imported, imported back correctly in that SAS 7bdat file format. Right. Let's move on to SPSS. I've been using that for quite some time. Here again we have a file example that is included in the Haven package. So you see the code how to read this data. We can use the read underscore SPSS function and again like before we get attributes associated with the variables that show us the original formats. Here the attributes are called format.spss. So have, we have these typical formats like f8.2, for example, for numeric variables. And for the species variable, we also get labels. We'll look into this more on the next slide. So again, if we want to get rid of these attributes, we can use the zap formats function and then the str function um, just gives us the variable names, but for the species variable we still have the labels. Um, so we have three functions to choose from. I'd recommend read underscore SPSS because that's the most general and can read both .sav and .pour file formats, but you can also specify these formats .sav and .pour directly using the um, these dedicated functions respectively. Right. 
a few notes on labels in SPSS. So labels are handed specifically. This is quite convenient in the Haven package. Here we see the species variable. Um, it's a double, so it's numeric, but it's also got a label. So we can check the class of this variable and it's got a dedicated class Haven labeled and then the VCTRS package, vectors package um, developed by the Tidyverse team has some special functions to deal with vectors and it's also got class double. What is also very convenient in the Haven package is that um, it supports user-defined missing values, which are not really part of R in the way they are in SPSS, uh, but we can mimic this behavior in SPSS. So here's an example from the documentation. The function is labeled underscore SPSS. We have a simple vector from 1 to 10. Values 1 and 8 are labeled and 9 and 10 are user-defined missing values. So this gets displayed correctly. We have a sequence from 1 to 10. The missing values are mentioned here. The labels are there. And if we request the missing values using base R's is.na function, then um, numbers 9 and 10 get correctly displayed as missing. So that's very convenient as well. And now how to export SPSS data from R. We can use the write underscore SAV function. Again, you see the code here. It's pretty straightforward. We mentioned the R object, the data set, and then the file name. So in this case, I'm just storing the iris data and then reading it back in. And you see um, that in this case, the attributes are created and read in again correctly. So that's very nice. Right, so let's move on to the starter software. Here we have functions read underscore starter or read underscore DTA, referring to the software name and the file extension respectively, both work equally well on the data. So here I'm using the read underscore starter function again on this example data that is shipped along the Haven package. And again, we see that we get attributes. In this case, there are even two attributes to each variable. Um, a starter specific format, format.starter, like here the percent %9.0g format for a character variable, so that's typical for starter. And we also get variable labels here, just denoted label. So how to get rid of these? Um, R doesn't process this information the way that starter does, so it's mostly for us as users to see what the original format looked like. If we want to get rid of that, we can use the zap formats function, which remove the format starter attribute. And if we also want to remove the label attribute, we can use the zap label function. And then we get a really stripped down output of the str function for structure, just giving us the variables and a couple of values as we are used to in R. Right, how to export starter data from R? Um, it's pretty straightforward again, right underscore DTA. And now what is notable in Starter, I, I was a Starter user for some time and I really struggled when I was self-employed and I couldn't afford to buy a new license each year. So Starter is quite bad in that sense that file formats change between different Starter versions. So when I didn't have the latest Starter version, I couldn't even open data that people sent me that was saved from the newest version because file formats were not compatible, compatible between versions. Had I worked with are already back then, I wouldn't have had a problem to import this, this data and maybe store it in a different version. So I think the default is currently version 14, but up to version 15 is supported at the moment, um, according to the documentation. So here we can just store data in different versions. And note that since starter version 14 only, encodings are explicitly declared in DTA files. That wasn't the case before version 14. Right, we're almost through for today. Um, last slide, um, if you want to import data from the SysStat software package or from Weka, you can use BaseR's foreign package to do that. So here we have two functions, read.sysstat or read.arff, where arff state stands for Weka's attribute relation file format. So these formats are not supported by Haven. Right, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing the channel if you haven't already. All the best for your own data analysis and especially your data import. Um, see you next time. Ciao.